So you can't change your past, but you can make a different decision today. And that decision can change the outcome of your tomorrow. You know, as this year gets closer to an end, I've caught myself thinking there were so many things that I wanted to accomplish this past year. So many videos I wanted to make, things that I wanted to paint, courses I wanted to teach, and stories I wanted to tell. But this kind of thinking is what keeps us from starting the new year strong. Because I think that if you end this year thinking about all the things that you didn't get to do, you're going to begin the new year doubtful of all the things that you want to do. And this mindset is so contrary to what the Bible says. Isaiah 43, 18 says, Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. But if I'm honest with myself, and if I'm honest with you, my friends, more than once I've had to catch myself thinking like this and dwelling on the past. But today, I want to encourage you to be mindful of this kind of thinking, to be aware of it, and to make a decision to do a 180-degree turn in your mindset. And instead, think about the new things that you're going to do with the new year ahead. You know, when you're driving, the rearview mirror is just there for you to take a quick glance and then set your eyes back on the road in front of you. And so in life, sometimes taking a quick glance at the past does help you make a better decision to move forward towards your future. But we can learn from the past, but at the same time, we don't have to live in it. So onward, and blessings to a good new year. Keep the fire alive, my friends.